Hello, my name is Michael Fortune from Folklore.ie and I'm joined here with some helpers with me today. And what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to make up your own little garland with eggs for your Maybush. It's the 1st of May on Saturday, and uh, which means we put up our Maybush on Friday night. Now here's some old eggshells from last year, from last year's Maybush. They're a little bit dirty, but as you can see, they've been painted and strung together and they would have been decorated on our Maybush. But before I even start, it's lovely to use natural materials like eggs here. And here again are some more Maybush decorations uh, from previous years out of made of cloths. They're all hand painted by children. And the, the Maybush tradition is very, very strong here in this part part of County Wexford and uh, it's grown and grown in popularity all over Ireland in the last number of years. Also to, to let you know before we look at some real eggs you can look you can use these things as well like kinder eggs if you've got little old kinder egg toys save them up during the year put a little bit of string in them and tie them onto your maybush that's what we do here don't we girls? Yeah. yeah. That means if you have loads of kinder egg toys what's that mean? That means you have loads of decorations for the Maybush. And it also means you have loads of, you're after getting loads of Kinder eggs. So what we're going to do first is we're going to, actually we've got our own stock here of duck eggs and hen eggs from outside. And we're going to show you what we need to do to make our garland. So the first thing we need to do is we need to, if you're lucky actually enough, if you actually have hens and, 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 and if you saved up your eggs, traditionally in the past people would actually hang on to their eggshells from Easter Sunday and they'd have them up and they'd keep them up and they'd have them already saved up maybe where you'd have your boiled egg. But say because we're making these now from home and you don't want to waste anything, so you get your duck egg and hen egg and ask your mammy and daddy you now for permission with this if you're doing it, is that you basically just crack it. Now you don't, you don't need to blow it out in this case, you just need to crack it crack it, crack it, crack it, and all you want to do is you want to keep most of the egg and then you want to basically keep the egg, which is the most important part, the egg which you'll use for, for cooking. So if I got a glass over here and I'm going to pour it in here and just double check, these are fresh, they're only laid in the last couple of days and just to make sure your egg shell is, your egg is good like that. And then once that's ground in, you've got your egg and you check that there's no big lumps of shell there. That's good enough to so throw it into your bowl and keep it up for cooking or for whatever you're going to use later on. And we're going to go with this girls, aren't we? Yeah. So I'll get you cracking some eggs over here and you get some eggs and get your knives and do that. So you crack them into the bowl and then I'll try into your glass first and then put them into your bowl. And one thing that I should say to you as well, once you've uh, uh, cracked your egg and you've emptied out the, the, the contents of it, give your little, give the egg a little rinse out get, uh, under the tap and get all the little bits of the bits of the egg out of it, because that means it's then you can actually use the egg next year and it won't smell or won't uh, won't smell on you, right? So there we are now. We'll give it a rinse out, and all you need to do then is give it a rinse out, shake the water over, be delicate now because they're very fragile, and then leave them on a on a tea towel to dry. Here's ones that the girls have made earlier. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to basically carry on, and we're going to uh, leave all our eggshells to dry and then come back in a few seconds and we're going to paint them. Once you've washed all your eggs and they've all dried out for you, what you need to do now is basically get them ready for painting. Now there's two different types of designs that I'm going to show you how to make. The traditional design, and that was the design that was found all over here in, 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 in Leinster in particular, and in and East Munster and South Ulster, was the, a garland. Uh, here's just two tangled up here. And you can see the word garland were strung together. Some people would put these on the may bush and, and, and actually the white thorn itself or the, or the furze bush if they were using it would actually use to be would, would separate them. But we've got a little, few little handy hints on how you can actually make them in a garland and actually keep them from coming close together. There's one design which I've noticed crop up in the last couple of years here in Wexford. It's this kind of design. This was designed by Epi earlier on. And all it is is just her little eggshell duck eggshell and it's got some beads on it and a little bit of string on it like that and that's how you make it up but one of the real handy things which which is if you basically make your hole I'll show you in a second you make your hole and you put your string through it and if you've got any beads like little little beads like these lying around your house you can use these and that will actually stop the, the thread coming through so basically before you start what you do is you get a piece of thread and you tie a knot on a on bead like this and you have that prepared like that. So you tie a knot on that like that, couple of knots on that like that and then that will be the piece that will be inside in the egg, inside in the egg like in this and that will stop it pulling through. Now the eggs are very delicate, there's no point saying they're not and they may break on you after after they've been put up in the maybush after a week or two right. So here's one for you Nan. 
And uh, basically, I get cracking on them, making these, making holes in these, so the girls can get painted and we can string them together then. And as I said to you, we can make a little garland or we can make a little individual design for the Maybush. And they're lovely. It's lovely to be holding a duck egg or a hen egg in your hand. You want another one, Nelly, do you? If you don't mind. If you don't mind, and you will let these dry. Mm. So do these a couple of days in advance before you put up your Maybush on May Eve. And May Eve is the 30th of, uh, of, uh, of April. And the idea behind the May bush, and the May bush, for those who don't know, the May bush was um, a furze bush or a white thorn, and a little small bit was cut down and it was stuck outside the house. It was never brought inside the house. That's one thing you don't do is bring the bring the white thorn or anything inside the house. And the idea was it was put up to keep bad luck away, to keep the fairies away. Is what the old people said. It was to keep the fairies away and to protect your crop for the upcoming summer. And that's why we put it up now, is to welcome the summer as well. To, uh, to welcome the fine bright days uh, and be out to the, uh, the, month, the month of May. So we'll come back in a second and we'll show you how we string all the stuff together in the garland. So um, now all your eggshells are after, after drying, all the paint after drying, and if you're in a hurry, you can stick them in the oven as well. They'll dry off as well for you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you can uh, make your garland. So you've got a few different options. As I said to you at the very, uh, earlier on, you can go a very simple way. You can actually just do one single eggshell hanging up here like uh, Epi has made, and that's got a little bead inside there to stop it pulling back out. So you can use a bit of wool or a bit of thread, something for that, and decorate it whichever way you want. But the traditional way was always to make the garland. And to make a garland, I've got some lovely natural ribbons here, uh, some um, some ribbon. And what I've done, done is I've cut a length of it. And one length of it, I've actually got a darning needle. So this may be where you might need a little bit of help from a parent or for someone older. And you actually bring the, the uh, ribbon through it here. So the colour of the ribbon looks lovely with the eggshells, I find. And maybe we can string a few of the eggshells together just to show you how it's done. So the idea is to make a big garland like this that you can hang on your maybush. And then if it all survives, you can take it down and use it next year. So basically the way to start off is you, what I do is, we actually have loads of beads left around. The children have loads of beads left around. So they're very, very handy because what you can do then is you can actually string a bead through, tie a knot on it, put the eggshell through here like that, push another bead down on top of it and it'll stay in place. Likewise, repeat that maybe every seven inches or so and do another one again, like that again, and same story again there. So the eggshell shouldn't pull through. Now it won't be stormproof, but it'll last you for the few weeks in the month of May. So I'm just gonna show you how I do that again. So what I do is I just pick up a bead. These are random, random sizes. Run it through the needle here. I'll just pull it down and pull it all the way down to the bottom of your, the, sorry, in this case, the top of it. So we're going to run another eggshell through. So again, what you do is you pick up a, a bead and you run a bead down through here and you run it down through here to about that, say, that's seven, eight inches away from where you're going to, uh, to where you're going to put the next eggshell. And because the bead will move on you, well, if, in this case, what I just do is simply just tie a knot on it like that. Double it over, tie a knot. And it doesn't have to be perfect looking because it's going to be hidden. And what you do then is you get your eggshell and you get your eggshell, pull it through. It's a big long duck egg, egg in this case. Pull it down through, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. And you can see then the way that catches there like that. And then you keep on repeating that process um, and another bead on top of that again and pull it down through again. Same thing, same thing again. Now, in case you don't have a bead, um, what you can also use I have these little things here, no little clothes pegs, you see them in craft shops, they're actually handy as well. So say if you didn't have beads and you wanted to do this like that, you could just stick in a little little clothes peg there like that, stick something very handy or something very quick. And again, you can reuse all this stuff next year, so none of this stuff will be going to waste. And you just push it through like that, pull it down, pull it down like that, and then you're, <coughs> you can see the way it's catching there as well. So that's another handy way to do it. So basically you just carry on that until you get the desired garland that you want. I'll probably go maybe the length of this, so that'll be about a metre and a half, two metres, and that'll be wrapped around the maybush. And uh, it'll stay up for this month of May, and then you hopefully you can use it next year as well. And as I said to you, you can also go down the route of the single one. And the single ones are lovely too, they just hang off the off it like that, like, a, you know, like the bottles on, on a Christmas tree. And you can be as creative, you can put googly eyes and funny face on them, whatever you want. Uh, you do whatever to suit you. And again, as I said here at the outset as well, we have our lovely natural uh, egg, eggshells all here, all hand painted. And if you want to as well, keep up little bits and pieces like this if you find during the course of the year 
and again this is lo it's lovely as well even though it's plastic it's kind of nice as well because it's a kind of modern um like i suppose a contemporary take on the the eggshell which is the, the the kinder egg so you can use those as well and reuse them all next year so listen thanks a million for watching this tutorial and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you got something from it and most importantly i hope you actually get out this year and actually put up a, a may bush put up a may bush of some some shape or form in your garden to welcome the summer and um, we'd love to see your photographs on folklore.ie or on the wexford maybush festival where we've been getting the tradition going over the last uh, under, over the last five to seven years so thanks a million for watching and uh, happy making